Our reporter Ryan is out in the field today and he is testing out the poutine. Yes, we'll the see, poutine drug. We'll see how he comes back uh, later this <laughs> afternoon. Might be a little sleepy after this one. Uh, Ryan, where are you right now? Okay, right now I'm in National on 10th, uh, you know what, and it is poutine week, and you're not kidding, I'm going to be sleepy when I come back. I've got my fork ready. I'm with Chef CJ. And what are we making today? We're making uh, mac and cheese poutine. So are there french fries in this poutine? There certainly are. Poutine and mac and cheese are my two favorite things, so why not add them together? So are we taking this as the gravy over the mac and cheese? Exactly. It's going to be like a three cheese sauce, Gruyere, processed cheese, American cheese. And then we're going to top that. Then we're going to top it with some cheese curds, some bacon, some Parmesan breadcrumbs. It's going to be good. Okay, so now you were telling me that all of your nationals actually have poutine, so you've created a, a menu for the entire national group. What kind of, uh, what can we look forward to at the other restaurants? Yeah, each, each national has their own separate poutine. Um, West Hills is doing a traditional spaghetti with bocconcini poutine. Uh, West Hills is doing a smoked meat. Uh, they cure and, and smoke their own meat in-house. And National 17th is doing chicken and peas. Well, that's crazy. So we've got Kyle here today. He's also going to be eating all 49 poutines. I think he should just top them all in one big mixing bowl and go for it. Okay, so show us what we're doing. We're going to, we're going to make a poutine right now. We're going to make a poutine right now. I'm just going to grab some fries. We've got the fries coming in. This is a fries food right science. Now. Ooh, can I just grab one right out of there to start? Yeah, yeah perfectly cooked fry. Perfect. Awesome. So it's important when you're doing poutine is making sure you're layering everything. We got some fresh cheese curds. Next up is the mac sauce. Mac sauce coming up. Oh my god, that looks creamy and delicious. Forget, forget gravy, I only want cheese from now on. Yeah, it's so good. It's the best. But it's not cheesy enough. No, not yet. We're gonna put some more cheese curds in there. We're gonna top it with some more french fries. That looks good. This looks like a layered cake. So this is now my french fry birthday cake if I need kinda one. Like, kinda like nachos. Mm. But better for you. <laughs> and a lot of that creamy sauce. My mouth is literally watering as I stand here and I know that they're gonna want some of this in studio. We've got 20 seconds to finish this bad boy up. I'm going to finish it with some breadcrumbs. And I see some bacon. I'm bacon. going to add the bacon because we like a lot. Bam, I'm like emerald. Get a little bit more in there? A little bit more. <laughs> this looks absolutely delicious. And look who's creeping on the other side. We've got Kyle. So let's, right let's just put this up. You, you do the placement. I'm getting out the fork. And Kyle and I are going to start eating the poutine mac and cheese from National. And uh, Kyle, this is uh, one of your, this is your ninth out of 49. Go for it, buddy. Initial thoughts. Oh, it's delicious. You got it there. It's a delicious poutine mac and cheese at, at National mm. on 10. And we're mm. going to go to oh break next and we're going to try another one. Oh. You better be bringing some of that back with you for us. Please. It looks delicious. Great stuff, Ryan. You know, earlier Yum. this hour we were talking about hockey. We were talking about the playoffs. We were talking about entertainment tickets. Well, that's